Today we're going to show you how to set up the dangler trip up flag. In your bag you should have gotten these two parts or I should say three parts because this is the hook is actually separate but you've got your velcro strap and your hook assembly. I'm just going to slide that up forward so you can see that. And we've got we're calling the front one the downward one we're calling this the the horseshoe downward horseshoe hook assembly. This is the back part. This is where your nut assembly is going to slide into. So that's that's part that you should have gotten in your bag and in your flag. I'm going to refer to this as my nut assembly. <clears throat> I'm going to refer to this as my flag holder. And then the other part would be my release. Okay, so you can see that. That's my release. That's where you're going to push your line into in between those two fingers. All right. So I'm going to start with hooking my Velcro strap up. Again, I'm going to put my <clears throat> downward horseshoe hook towards the front of the pole. Bring my Velcro strap around. Pull it through nice and tight. Snug it up. Try to find your balancing point. A lot of guys will set these different. We like to set them so they're probably about at that much of an angle. It gives you a little bit more room for when that fish hits it. gives you a little bit more play. But there again, anybody, you can set it however you want. Just find your balancing point. Okay, I'm going to set that on the dangler. All right, now I'm going to take my flag assembly. I'm going to put my nut assembly into that rear upward facing hook. And I'm going to kind of get this closer to the camera so you can see what I did. I'm going to spin that around, spin that around so it shows you exactly how I have that. <clears throat> All right, so now I've got that set, finger tight. I'm going to just bring it down just to see if I've got, got this so I've got it set up right. I'm going to go push it down, pull it back, let it go, just like if the fish took the, bit, the line out of the release. That's all you have to do. Now you're basically you just dry fired it two times so you know that you've got it set up right. Now you bring it back. Bring your flag back again down towards your line. You can do this with your bail open or your bail closed. I like to have my bail open. I'm going to open my bail. I'm going to slide my line back in. I'm going to leave it right there. Now again this one's still not set too bad, but I'm going to just tighten that back just a little bit to bring that so I have no loose line in between my release and my spool. And it also brings your flag assembly back down towards the flag holder. And, and now you're set. Now the only thing we can do a little bit different, I, if you want to set it light for crappies, just slide it barely in, crappies, perch. If you're fishing with a bigger minnow, for Northern's walleyes, slide their line back farther into the release, and that enables you not to get the false trips that you would get from a bigger minnow. And that's something that you're just going to have to play with a little bit too, just to see how you like it, uh, how you like it to have it set. And so right now, the fish is going to come along, you pull it, flags up, your bail's open, and your fish on. You should be set. Thank you.